All right, we're back out here ready to raise some ruckus. But before we do, I want to explain uh, the build to you and what I used in the build. So uh, the tools that I had to use, I had a sawzall, I had a three inch, three eighths inch drill, caulk gun, and a circular saw. I also had an angle grinder, but I don't have that with me. Um, so basically, to build this thing, I took a sheet of aluminum, I cut two whole circles out of it, uh, the same size as the bottom of a 55 gallon drum. I took that piece of aluminum, and I, uh, I bolted it to the bottom of the 55 gallon drum. If you're wondering why I only have six bolts, is because there's hand grips on each side and I didn't want to put a hole where there's a hand grip because it'll leak water. Um, these are the four that will bolt to the rear end of the go-kart. They're not through the 55 gallon barrel itself. They're only through the aluminum. Uh, then as you can see, I took uh, insulation foam and butted it up against the drum all the way around. There were holes in the sides, so I filled them with spray foam. And uh, then I siliconed another layer of foam on the outside of that. And, uh, and this is what we got. So, if some of this stuff looks a little janky, it's because 90% of everything that I'm using is uh, either from a recycling center, a junkyard, or has been repurposed in some way. Uh, the only thing that is new in this build at all is the kayaks and the hardware. Uh, other than that, everything else is repurposed. Even the go-kart came from the junkyard. Uh, but, what we will do is, in order to get it to go uh, to attach to the rear end, I cut a spacer out of the tip of a baseball bat for both sides. And uh, we have spacers that will go on here as well. And uh, then we'll just butt it up here run it through these holes, bolt it on the back, the back will be done. Okay, now, if you come around here, what I did with the kayak is, I basically, I had to build all of this out of wood because I don't have a cutting torch and I don't have a welder. If I did, uh, I could have made this a lot different, but I used what I got. I created a wedge, I wedged the tire, and then I got a board on the each side to sandwich it together and I got some braces underneath it. Uh, it's a simple way to, to keep it where it needs to be. Um, I got a strap all the way around it just to ensure that it don't come off. I, I don't think it will. Uh, a couple flaws is after a late night of working, I mounted this tire. Instead of mounting it dead center of the kayak, I wanted to widen the front end, so I mounted the center of the kayak on the outside of the tire. Um, I think it's going to let the kayaks lean out a little bit. Uh, if it creates a problem, I'll just change it and I'll put it in the center. Um, one thing I know I'll have to do is I'll have to put a stabilizer on here because you don't realize the play in the front end of a go-kart when the tires are only this big. But when you put six foot kayaks on the front of it, you can tell that there's play. So I want to put a stabilizer that won't let that move. And uh, we'll still let the kayaks, you know, turn. Uh, but we don't need any of that right now. Today, all we're doing is trying to make sure that it will float. The, uh, the back tires aren't even completely done. I just want to make sure it'll float for this video uh, because I got to cut out strip of foam in order to put the paddles on. Uh, but I don't want to do that until I 100% know it's not going to sink. Um, so that's the goal of today's video. It will still move forward. I don't think it'll move real fast, but uh, even like this, it'll move forward. Um, other than that, I ain't got nothing else for you other than to put this thing on the water. So I'm going to get these put on and I'll see you in a minute.
All right, there's nothing left but to put this baby in the water. But before we do, if you guys could do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button, I need 1,000 subscribers in order to get monetized by YouTube. Um, so if you could do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, join the Ruckus crew, share my video. Other than that, let's see if this baby will float. Oh my God, this thing looks ridiculously awesome. I'm so nervous right now. I got so much work into this and that's uh, it's all gonna be right here. It is heavy. Oh God. Is it gonna flow? I can tell already I'm gonna need stabilizers. Oh my God, it is floating. I'm kind of nervous to climb on the back. Let's climb on the front. <laughs> I don't want to end up, this water is extremely cold. This is not warm. All right, all right. All or nothing. Oh God. All right, let me push myself off a little bit. All right, so are we gonna sink or are we gonna swim? Woo, those tires, they're flexing a little bit. See them? Oh God. All right, let's just test it. Let's see, is it gonna hold me? It is holding me. I need a stabilizer. It does work. They're tilted out. I need to change it. All right. Oh God. That was awesome. Awesome, we did it. You seen it on Ruckus TV. We floated a go-kart. So, this video was a success. Now all we got left to do is some cool upgrades. Stay tuned for the next video to check that out. Um, 
if I could get you guys to do me a huge favor, smash that like button, subscribe, share this video, but I am freezing cold, soaking wet, and I need to get warm. That's all I got for you. Till next time.